Good afternoon, everybody. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations Wyckoff. How are you all doing? Good, I hope. I am going to make some Mother's Day cards, and so I thought I would play with this new sentiment that I got from Joanne Fabrics the other day. I finally got myself a sentiment that says, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Father's Day, Happy New Year, Happy Valentine's Day, Happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, Happy Graduation, and Happy Fourth of July. Come to think of it, I don't think I had anything that said Happy Graduation, and now I finally do. Yay! Except for on my skin and cut, I do have some that says Happy Graduation. And this actually comes with a little, uh, little splatter stamp, and it comes with a little bird and a heart. So that is what that one is. So if you guys can see that. Very good. And then we're going to play with this also Hero Arts stamp and die set that I found at Joanne Fabrics, I believe, over a year ago. And it was one of the cheaper stamp and die sets. Stamp and die sets that I got. I thought it was really cute. But it says, let's go on a vacay, eat, sleep, beach, repeat. Treat yourself, treat yourself, beach please, no time for shade, and it has a little French, I think it's a Frenchy dog, I don't know, but it's a dog, nonetheless, it's a dog, so, it's a dog, and she's got sunglasses that you can put on her, she's got a thing of pearls, suntan lotion, pina colada, and another drink, and, uh, if I didn't know any better, I think this was a slice of bacon for her, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> it could be a beach towel, but an umbrella and all that. And it comes with all the dyes and the umbrella. So we're going to play with her and I'm going to use my trusty sidekick, Sussex sidekick. So. We are going to set aside the sentiments and we're going to go ahead and peel this off for now. And we're going to go ahead and play with this. So let's put you down in the down mode so you guys can see my table, right? You guys can see? Yep. Come on, make sure. So I have a spare piece of paper from yesterday. So in case you guys didn't see the live yesterday, from um, um, the video when I was doing a live yesterday with Elizabeth Costa Rogers um, on her YouTube channel. And yesterday evening we did, I just lost my other two magnets from last night. Um, yeah, I don't know what I did with them. But anyways, um, this is the card that I made. Um, we did, and she had me pick out what I wanted to do. Oh, that just came apart. Great. Um, she had me pick out what, um, the tech, some technique, new technique or something that I wanted to do. And I've never watercolored with Simon Hurley's inks. Actually, I really, really never colored with inks before. And... So the other day I thought I would practice with inks and I didn't use Simon Hurley's inks. I practiced with um, Hero Arts inks the other day since I got some Hero Hue Hero Arts ink cubes at Joanne Fabrics the other day on clearance. So I practiced with those, but this was all using Simon Hurley's inks. Um, so I, I don't have Simon Hurley's brown. I don't have his brown and so I used you take your three primary colors your red your blue and your yellow so you know that red and blue make purple right okay if you add yellow in there you're gonna get brown so if you mix those three colors together you're gonna get brown so I used I used game over I used midnight snack and I use psych to get brown. So that is how I was able to get the brown for the two bears. 
Now I know my blending isn't all the greatest because I'm new at watercoloring and I'm getting better because usually when I watercolor, I watercolor with um, Jane Davenport's ink, her watercolors. So I have two things of these. This I got on clearance from Spellbinders last year when they were having a huge fall warehouse clearance sale. So I got this last year and they have a couple metallic looking colors. So I use these quite often. At least I try to practice with them. <laughs> and then I also have another thing of watercolors that I use quite often. I got these from a friend of mine and these are woodland colors. I'm not sure. These are called Art Philosophy. And they're Primas. I think they're from Prisma or Prima. I'm not for sure because I can't see it very well. But these ones have um, their Sandrid, Shadow, Cavern, Foxberry, Pond, and all that. So that's what these ones are. It unfolds like that. So that's what these ones are. So you can tell I was watercolor and I forgot to clean that up a little bit. That's okay. That's my little palette. So yeah, that's what I usually watercolor with is those little watercolor paints so so I just thought well why not watercolor with Simon Hurley's inks I'll watercolor with his inks I've never done that before so thought, why not so I did and I know when Simon Hurley does in his videos he shows you how to um, you know wet the bear wet the um, the stamped image first well I didn't do that I know I should have probably done that but I use I use these um, brushes. These are water. They have water in them and I like to use them a lot <laughs> and they work great. And so I take like say one of my ink pads here, like say prom queen, and I take it and I just smooch it onto my workstation here. And what I do is when I watercolor with inks now or with my um, watercolor palette is I take my thing, open it up, and I squeeze water into the middle of the thing and stuff like that. That is what I do. And that's how I get water onto my brush and everything else. And I'm able to spread the ink onto my images and stuff. So that's how I do that. So I was able to watercolor this, the bears, the cake, the log, I did gray and I embossed everything, had everything ready to go before the live last night. And then um, I also did these guys. Now I didn't do their skin. I just left their skin white because, you know, I just wanted to leave their skin white because I didn't have any color really. I guess I could have used piggyback for their skin, but oh well. And. I, when I was heat embossing this boy, this little guy, I think I accidentally over embossed and I got him a little brown, the paper part brown. So I guess he kind of got his skin a little brown on the brown side. So he got a little color to him. He got suntanned, I should say, but that's okay. So I finally finished this card this morning. I added this inside. So I use Gina Kay's die, one of her dies. I have a bunch of them sitting right here inside my thing where I die cut a bunch of them, different colors, and I just put them together like this instead of in the middle, just offset it a little bit. And I added these guys in the middle. I always decorate the inside of my cards. Don't ask why, I always do. And I always decorate the left. I know a lot of people do the right. Even my daughter does the right. And she's a lefty. You would think being left-handed, we do the left. But, I don't know. So, and this is the first time when I usually do gems, I do one color. This time I went, I figured, okay, this is a birthday party card. Sorry, people, I'm doing a video. I ain't going to respond. <laughs> respond later. Um, but... Anyways, um, I'll just turn my volume down. I can talk later. But, um, 
sorry, on a video. I'll respond later. Yes, I've used my foiling a lot. I love using my foiling. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> um, I can't respond right now. But anyways, um, uh, but this time I decided to do five different colors of my gems. And I thought that looked kind of cool because I thought, you know, Simon Hurley's um, Bestest Friends stamp set that Ranger sent me for free because I won this in a contest. I thought, oh, this is kind of a, like a party style stamp set. And I thought, okay, why not just do something different and do five different colors? And I thought, cool, let's, let's, yeah, let's do it. So that's what I did. So that's it. So now on to today's card. We are going to do, and I don't know what I did with my magnets from, huh? What I did with my magnets. What else, my extra magnets. I don't know where they went. They're stuck on something. Or what? So, oh, I found them. I found them. Yay, to the rescue. They're on top of the lunar paste. Yay. <laughs> so I am not going to do any embossing for any means. <laughs> so I have used this, I think, once. I don't know why I've never really used it. So we're going to stamp everything because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use here. So I figure since Mother's Day is on Sunday, we better get a Mother's Day card in today or a couple or something. Um, I have a crafty friend texting me about if I used my foiling much. Yes, I used my foiling much, but I can't answer right now. I'll respond after I get done doing my video. can't quite answer the question right now. So I will respond when I get done with the video. Okay, I definitely need to stamp her again because she definitely needs another stamping. Guys, ever get that when when you're doing videos? It seems like everybody wants to talk to you all at once. <laughs> it happens to me quite often. Even my daughter texts me sometimes when I'm trying to do a video. It's like, oh goodness, maybe I need to start posting in my group or someone say okay doing a video today at this time please nobody contact me <laughs> so <laughs> i can't keep doing that <laughs> it's like it happens it's life <sighs> i'll just if it's i'll just uh respond to them when i get done here and Everybody can wait. My daughter can wait and everybody else can wait too. Uh, speaking of my daughter, my daughter has about a week of school left. 13th is her last day. It's like, oh my gosh. It's like caving in her first year of college. Almost completely done. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. I don't know if I've used this umbrella yet or not. I better just wipe it off anyways, the residue. Okay, I kind of want to space some of this stuff out. Uh, or is this an ocean wave? Maybe that's an ocean wave. I don't know what that is. Let's put that up there. I think that's an ocean, actually. So this is an ocean, you guys. That's what that is. That makes the ocean. So you know what? We're not going to put that on yet. So let's not do that. So let's do our drinks. Space that out. 
whatever we have dies for. Space that out. And then, eh. Okay. If I can get it to work. It's like wanting to stick to my fingers. Okay. Sunglasses. Sunscreen. Is that a solid? Okay, that appears to be a solid. So we're going to make that a different color. And then that. Okay. All right, ready's on. So, I think, okay. Okay, let's do, I say sunglasses are solid. Does she want pink sunglasses? Let's be different. Let's give her prom queen. Yeah, let's do prom queen on her. And then, okay, looks like all these other ones are not solid. Okay. So, And then I have this other die that came with it, and I'm wondering if it's not the pearls that go with her pearl necklace. I might cut that out with a different colored. Um, okay, that all looks good, but I think I'm going to stamp the umbrella a little bit more because it's not quite as dark as I want it. So I'm going to do the umbrella a little bit darker. Uh, Okay, that looks better, y'all. Do you think? I think so too. So let's wipe my stuff off with my good old cleaning towel that I like to use. Okay, let's put everybody on. And then I have dots and stuff that'll add to the card and my ocean wave now that we finally figured out what it was. Now, I'm not going to watercolor with inks today, okay? I'm just going to use, um, I think I'm just going to use my Spectrum Noir markers, okay? And I'm not going to do like a bunch of blending and stuff, okay? And then since this is an ocean wave, this is, I think, a dot. So we're going to do a bunch of dots in the background, I think, on our card, too. And stuff like that. And we'll add some of those other sentiments, too, on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and color these. Okay, put this back in my holder so I don't lose it. Okay, and I'm sorry if I'm upside down. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or two or three. No. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, if you're new to my video channel, please subscribe to my channel. And um, also, um, what else? I will also post my affiliate links down below, down below in the description box. So please check that description box. Unfortunately, I am not an affiliate for Hero Arts yet. I have not found them available to be an affiliate yet. Someday I would like to be, and someday I would like to be a guest designer for Hero Arts. So. I keep trying, but 
You never know. But this die, I'm wondering if this goes with her pearl necklace. Because I don't remember where this die came from. So I'm thinking it's got to be her pearls. So what do you think, y'all? I just don't know. What do you think? Could that be her pearls? I don't know. I think it came with this when I got it at Joanne Fabrics. But see, these dies, when I got them at Joanne's, these all came together. So I had to clip them and take them apart. So, just so you know. So some dies that you get here from other companies, they do come together. And you have to clip them apart. So... <sighs> but anyways, and I've noticed that. Okay, so what color should we color this girl? So we will color her. Let's see, how about TN2? Because I have a scrap piece of paper right here I'm going to use. It's not too yellow. We can call her uh, like a lab color, like a lab dog. Or should I do more EB1 and EB2 colors? Let me see. Let's try EB1. Because that looks more of a dark yellow-ish. Let's go EB1. And then I know I can't go wrong with EB1. So we're going to do EB1. That's like a really light brown color. So, yeah, I noticed this morning when I came into my craft room and I looked at the car that I made on Elizabeth Costa Rogers Live last night, <laughs> I put my sentiment on crooked because I was trying to do the card upside down so everybody can see it upside right. And I've noticed, okay, I can't always do cards upside down all the time, especially when I'm trying to put my sentiments on. And I'm trying to stick them on and stuff, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> I've noticed I cannot do stuff upside down all the time. I try, but I'm not very good at doing stuff upside down. It is not that good. So, but, so, actually, I am going to go ahead and put you guys on pause right now, and we will come back, and I will have this all colored, okay? So, I, I oh. okay, I'm back, guys. So, I have everything colored. I didn't do any ink blending whatsoever. So, there is everything right there. So, now let's go ahead and die cut everything, shall we? So, let me grab my trusty sidekick here. Since we don't need the big... Um, let's see if I can find my... Uh, well, I haven't used this guy in a while. Lock him down. I got this guy at Tuesday morning. At uh, so I need to cut my paper down. Let's find my Fisker scissors. So let's go ahead and start with a dog. So I gave her a set of purple pearls to wear around her um, to wear around her um, neck. I guess that could be her dog collar, huh? <laughs> of course. Um, hold on guys. I'm gonna have to put you on pause again. Sounds like Mother Dog is barking. Okay. 
Can't tell if that's my dog, Kodak, or the neighbor's dog, Diamond. So hold on a second. Let me make sure I click the right button this time when I put you on pause. Hold on. Okay, never mind. It's not my doggy. It's not Kodak. He's not barking at anybody. He's just laying on the patio being a good boy. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was him. Okay, what am I doing? So this goes down. See, I haven't used this in such a long time. I forgot how to use my sidekick. Okay, this goes on top. See, and I don't think I've ever bought new plates for this. Why is this not working? Wait, I think this is embossing only. I forgot how to use this. Okay. See? It's been a while since I've used this. I thought instead of lugging over that big guy over here, the Sussex Big Shot, I thought, why not? Let's just use the little dude. Okay, I forgot. I don't need to use that. Only when I'm embossing. See? It's been a while. <laughs> okay, now I need the umbrella. So now we're gonna use the umbrella. Okay, don't need that. And my tape fell. Yep. same piece of tape because this scotch tape is really good low tack and I can reuse it which is nice okay add on Run this through. Oh, going the wrong way. Forgot what I was doing. I think I need to start using this one more often. Just like I say, I need to use my scan and cut more often too. I don't use it enough as I should. Okay, now the pina colada. Now I think I can put more than one thing on here, so let's see if we can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this down first before I cut it out. So in case you're wondering what colors I used on the pina colada, I used a, a CT2, the Spectrum Noir markers, and then I used um, one of my newest ones that I got at Tuesday morning. I used um, Apple, and it's AG1 for the rim. So that is also what I used. And then for this drink, this tropical drink, I used I used Caribbean, Caribbean AB3 and I used Amber BO3. So we're going to do that one too. So let's get this one. Oh, so I got some grossy stuff on that. Yuck. Sometimes I can't get those little prongs off all the way and I have a 
clipper that clips them off really good, but I think when I got this set, Hero Art Stamp and Die set at Joanne Fabrics over a year ago, I didn't have my metal clippers at the time, and I used a pair of scissors instead, and I highly recommend do not use scissors when clipping these metal things off because they could tend to sometimes ruin our scissors. That's all I gotta say. Oops. And that just fell off. So now I need to and fix this again. Of course, as soon as I go into my video again, I get texted again. <laughs> That's okay. Alright, so we'll do two of these little guys at the same time. This way, this way, towards me. Roll the handle towards me. Ah, I keep forgetting. Okay. Alright, so there's the pina colada. Oops. Okay. And here's the other drink, tropical drink. So now let's do the sunglasses. I thought the suntan lotion had a die cut. Guess not. I'll have to cut that out by hand. No problem. We can do it. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut this out. today, being Cinco de Mayo, is um, one of our doggies' birthdays. Nala is seven years old today. Cannot believe she is seven years old. That's unbelievable. Seven. So this is the last die that we're going to cut out, and then we'll start building our card. But I'm going to have to hold that. <sighs> okay, now we're going to cut this out. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. <sighs> Hey, let's hope you don't come apart on me. Okay, now let's hope this worked and it didn't shift on me. Okay, that worked. Not too bad. Didn't shift too much, I don't think. Okay, and the sunglasses are the doggy sunglasses. Okay, now we'll set that die set aside and we can lift this up very carefully. We'll set that aside and let's go ahead and cut out our sunscreen real quick. I guess dogs need sunscreen too, because doggies can get sunburned too, huh? We gotta keep our doggies taken care of so they don't get sick or ill or get sunburned. Because one of our dogs, he's all white with little black spots. 
because he's a um, American Bulldog and Yellow Lab. And he's got allergy issues, just like me. <laughs> so, and then uh, Nala, she's a um, boxer and Rhodesian Ridgeback hound. And boy, she sure can howl like a hound. And she chases them squirrels like there is no tomorrow. And she will shake it like there is no tomorrow too. So, all right, now we will go ahead and put our card together. So I have an extra piece of paper here already. So we're gonna make this a A2 size, which is five and a half by four and a quarter size. Um, one, two, and three. Hold it. And I hope that all of you mommies out there have a great Mother's Day, whether you're a mom to children, human children like I am, or a mom to fur babies like I am as well. Um, I hope that you guys have a very blessed, I mean, very blessed Mother's Day this weekend. Um, it's just going to be my husband and I on Mother's Day, and I already told my husband what I wanted for Mother's Day lunder, and we're going to do um, melt in your mouth a macaroni and cheese with... Um, uh, with white Tillamook extra sharp cheddar cheese and uh, and I'm gonna make homemade cheese sauce and then it's gonna have also sharp cheddar Tillamook cheese in it yellow cheese I make my own, we make our own homemade macaroni and cheese out of scratch. Make our own cheese sauce too. Okay, so now let's build our card here. So I'm gonna put it on a sticky mat and then I'm gonna take another piece of tape here, fold this in half. Not only will I, well, if I can get the tape to stick, come on. It does stick really good. I do like this. So that way it sticks closed so it doesn't come undone. And then I just stick it on my sticky mat here. It stays like that. And then we are going to take this ocean, I think I kind of like this, and I'm going to use, since I just got some ocean colors of Hero Arts ink cubes, I'm going to use my um, so let's see, where's the dog going to be? dog is going to be laying on the sand, okay. So we're going to put the water kind of like out here this way. So let me get out my ocean colors. And we will make some ocean colors. Okay, so I have, for ocean colors, I have Summer Sky, Aquatic, Deep Ocean, and Indigo. 
So we're going to start with our lightest and move all the way up to our darkest. So I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, how am I going to do this? So I'm going to take a pen, actually, guys. I'm going to draw... I have erasable friction pens. So right about, because she's laying on the beach, okay? So here's her ear. Okay, so that's about where the sand ends, okay? So that way I know where to blend my stuff. And I'm going to get my my uh, ink blending stuff and we are going to add some shades of blue all the way up. That is what we're going to do for our ocean. And I'm sorry if my video is long. Okay, hold on guys. I'm going to have to pause you again. So hold on. Well, I lift up and pause because doggy wants in. All right, guys, I'm back. Doggies wanted to come in and everything else. So let's finish this card, shall we? I want to get this done. So again, I'm using Summer Sky. <laughs> so I'm just going to blend in about right here where this line is or just up above it. Okay, I have this idea that I want to do for the ocean. Okay, and then, then I will take this one off. And just put that under there. Now we're going to go to aquatic because that's the next one in the color. And then these ones were on clearance at Joanne Fabrics. So if you guys are interested, I do believe they're still on clearance at Joanne Fabrics. So if you guys have a Joanne Fabrics where you live, I would highly recommend go there. Okay, and then I'm going to blend this into the summer sky a little bit. Because it is blendable and it's reactive too. Their inks are reactive and that's what I like. I like reactive inks. And I have a lot of ink cubes now. So between <laughs> between um gosh, between Gina K I have Gina K ink cubes, I have Hero Hughes ink cubes now, I have Pink Fresh Studio ink cubes, I have Ranger Tim Holtz ink cubes. I have lots of his. I have Lawn Fawn ink cubes. Oh God, I got everybody. And then a friend of mine gave me um, some Stamps of Life ink cubes. They're not like this shape of ink cube. They're like oblong ink cubes. So next on the list we're going to Deep Ocean. So again, we're going to go into the aquatic. So you want to blend. Whoa, I'm going to blend in. 
good that way. And then last but not least, our last color is indigo. Get this extra blue off my fingers. This stuff is, I mean, really good. I love it. I love these colors. Okay. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take it to the top. I think that is just pretty. Okay. Then we're going to tuck this one in. Oh no, that one's too big. I mean, it could go in there, but I'm not going to put it in there. Okay. Then, before we get too crazy carried away, I'm going to add a little bit of Pearl per Perfect Pearls. Pop off. Spray that a couple times. I'm going to give that a little splat. Take my green towel here. Okay, I'm going to splat it. And that'll give it an extra shine dollar. <sighs> Hold on, guys. Okay, maybe I just wasn't meant to do a video today, I tell ya. Okay, so now I'm going to take my pen very carefully. Oh, I got blue on those fingers too. I don't want to spread blue where I don't want it. Okay. Well, that's okay, it might be covered, so it's alright. So now we're going to take this ocean wave. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then I'm going to take this out. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and use the same inks because I think this might look really cool. So let's do this. Let's take summer, go back to summer sky. And I'm just going to do it this way. And then we're just going to add some ocean waves. Here, just take that out. I'll lay it flat so I can play with it. There we go. There we go. Then we're just gonna keep on going. Oops. Okay, it's so now aquatic. It's okay if they're not 100% even because lots of ocean waves are not very even. We all know that. Okay. 
two. Okay, so now go to deep ocean. Take that out. I love this little ocean wave stamp. It is so cool. It's like you can make ocean waves with it. This is my first time having a ocean wave stamp. I have a die, I have ocean dies, but I don't use them as much because I'm not so sure that I like them as much. But I like ink blending better than playing with my dies better. Oh, I think I just did two rows of that. So now let's do indigo on top of that. Okay. It's nice, you can see indigo on top of indigo. There. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Now. Let's see. Let's add. Okay. Let's get our doggy on there real quick. So let's do that. And again, I do apologize for a really long video. I've not done a video a while. I do lives on Saturdays at 1.30 Mountain Standard Time, though. There's a lot of planes flying around, though. Um... some more um, double-sided foam tape coming. I finally think I got the right kind, hopefully this time. Um, I looked at that stuff with the green wrap around it. <laughs> I was like, nope, can't afford that. I wish I could, but it was just way out of my price range. So I should do some sand, you know? I really should. I just need sand. I can't just not have sand, you guys. So, where is my brown? I do have brown. Because we're doing ink blending, let me get that out of the way. Um, I'm going to use my Gina K ink cube because she has believe it or not um, this one is sandy beach so we're going to use it so I'm going to use a little bit of so I need some sand
I use this a lot when I make my wood wall backgrounds too. <laughs> and I think I need to get an ink refill for this one because it feels like it's drying out on me. Or it's just a lighter brown. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I feel like I got sand. And that's okay if it doesn't cover the whole thing. You don't have to be perfect, I should say. Okay. So that looks pretty good now, doesn't it? That looks like a beach. Except I'm going to have to cover that piece of wood or pen mark now. We're going to cover it, don't worry. And I just covered it. Uh, because I the ink went over it and now I can't erase it. Unless I use my mono sand eraser. But as you can see, I just covered it. I can't see it. Can ya? So now we got that on there. So we're going to take the umbrella and we're going to put the umbrella above her. And I am going to glue it underneath one of her ears. That's what we're going to do because I know she probably doesn't want to get all there. Okay. So we're going to put glue on top of it a little bit. And we're just going to put it under this ear. Okay. Or like so. A little bit. Okay. That looks cute. I like that. <laughs> that looks awesome. Okay, and then we're gonna put her sunglasses on. Do you think we should put her sunglasses on? Does she need sunglasses? How does that look? What do you think? That looks too cute. I think we should put her sunglasses on. She needs sunglasses. Let's put a dot. Okay, there's three little dots. Okay. And then, let's see, the drinks. We got three drinks here. We're going to pop these up with foam tape or with the uh, foam squares, I should say. Um, and then we're going to do our sentiment. These little foam squares I got from Scrapbook. And they are tiny. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this to work here. That one might be a glass of beer, maybe. I don't know what this one is. I don't think I watched the release when they when Hero Arts released this. So I'm gonna tag Hero Arts in this video. And they can correct me if I'm wrong. So 
Hero Arts. If you watch this video, please tell me what this is. So let me know if I'm wrong. If this is a glass of beer, so tell me what this one is, okay? So tell me what that drink is supposed to be. Or if it's a glass of Sunny D orange juice, or if it's just a cool, refreshing glass of beer, ice beer or something. I don't know. <laughs> So now, let's figure out where we're going to put our alcohol beverages because, you know, down on the beach, down in Mexico or Hawaii, you must have your, I guess, your alcohol, right? Isn't that where they drink? Let's put it by the towel right here. I don't know. Or... Eh, this way this is the smallest one the smallest one should be on top I'm just trying to think where to put these guys bear with me or I can put this one over here by the doggy like I don't know oh hmm hey <laughs> okay I like these two kind of like this like that that one I like like that that looks cool I like this okay we're gonna go like that okay so let me get these peeled off Okay, so now we're going to go, okay, this could be the doggies drink, maybe. The doggies, non-alcoholic beer. They do make dog beer. They do, actually. They do make non-alcoholic dog beer, so we'll just call that dog beer. Okay. And then we're going to turn this into a Mother's Day card, of course. We shall. And that's our pina colada. So I used uh, C2 for the outside of it, for like the pineapple color. And then for the inside I used C4 for the drink part of it. And then I used, for the umbrella part, I used AB3, Caribbean color, Caribbean, whatever color. And whatnot. Okay. Now let's add a sentiment or two, or three, no, I won't add that many. Sunscreen, I don't know if you're gonna go on, I just don't think it goes well, I just don't know. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a bird too. Oh, the heart fell off. So, let's add Happy Mother's Day Ooh, let's add this little bird. Let me wipe the good old residue off the bird. As we know, all new stamps have residue on them. And I'm just going to stamp him in. Where's my Fun Stamper's Journey Rock Candy? And we are going to put him right here in the corner there ah he's too cute he's just too cute now look at that guys now isn't that just too stinking cute or what 
Okay. Gotta put a little birdie on a card, on a beach card. Okay, and I think I'll add some hearts. Should we add some hearts too? Wipe the residue off. Sure, why not? Okay, I'm not going to make them colorful hearts. We're just going to add some black hearts or rock candy colored hearts. And heart there. And let's put a heart here. Sure, let's have some floating hearts in the ocean. Why not, right? This is, I'm going to make some Mother's Day cards for the women, of the women neighbors, my, our neighbors. So I know I have a neighbor over this way that watches our videos. So I'm going to have to crank out some serious Happy Mother's Day cards. So this would be one of them. So they're not all going to be the same. So I don't have a bunch of, um, my mom's card was supposed to go in the mail yesterday, but it was raining like crazy for the past couple of days that we couldn't quite get it in the mail. Um, I'm going to stamp that, and I'm just adding pops of rock candy, and I already have blue, and sandy beach. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. Okay, I like it. Awesome sauce. Okay, so now I need a scrap piece of paper to stamp Happy Mother's Day. And what I like to do is I like to take this. And I usually like to save these for slimline cards too, but sometimes I use them to glue my sentiments together in stacks of two. This is 90 pound heavyweight cardstock, Nina, that I got at Walmart. Um, I was trying to find white, heavyweight white cardstock there for a while. I couldn't find anywhere, anywhere we were on a paper shortage. Then I finally found some white at Walmart. And Walmart does carry cardstock in their crafty section. They do have a crafty department. And, and they actually had some. It was online only though at the time and they had 250 sheets of it on sale or maybe it was their normal price but it was um i got it a couple months ago for um i think it was like 11 dollars, i believe so you know i couldn't pass that sale up for that deal so 11 dollars for 250 sheets of 90 pound heavyweight Nina cardstock or whatever it was. It was a good deal. So sometimes you just have to find, you know, it's not always, not always Michael's, not always Joanne Fabrics, not always, you know, online, other online stores. Sometimes you just have to look elsewhere. And it's not always on Amazon either. Sometimes it's other stores like Walmart. So, okay, so now we're gonna do Happy Mother's Day. I am not going to emboss this at all. So let's go ahead and pick a color out of the colors that I've used here. And I'm gonna do pink. I think I'll go ahead and do prom queen pink. Oops, I guess it would help if I put this on this damn thing first and then open the ink. 
and ink it. Then we'll stamp it. Okay, here we go. Okay, Happy Mother's Day. Finally, I have a sentiment that says Happy Mother's Day. Amazing. And I got something that says Happy Father's Day. So next up, we'll be doing Father's Day cards. Yay! Which, you know guys, HSN yes, the other day on Tuesday was HSN Day because it was the first Tuesday of the month and also this being International Scrapbooking Month. Um, they had, I could you not, you know how I have the, um, the Anna Griffin um, easel, the Anna Griffin easel horse and carriage um, <sighs> horse and carriage easel slimline card. Well, on Tuesday, they had the slimline easel train set die set by Anna Griffin. I almost had it and I was too late. It was on sale on HSN. They were showing it off. Anna Griffin was and they had a special on it on Tuesday. They had over, I think it was like 500 of them, and they had a special deal. It was like $25 on sale. I almost had it, and then all of a sudden, within a matter of a couple of minutes, it sold out on HSN. I mean, it just sold out. I mean, that train set, would have made a cute guy's card, a Father's Day card. It would have made a cute and adorable Christmas card. Everything. I mean, I was just like, oh my goodness. I was just really impressed. It was adorable. And I'm starting to like Anna Griffin and stuff. Her dies that I can build myself. Not so much you know, stuff that's already made for you and you just glue it together and stuff like that. But this one I really liked about as much as the horse and carriage. And oh my goodness, I was just, I was floored. I was happy. I was almost happy. I almost got it. And I was a little too late. I didn't get it. And it's not going to be on HSN for the rest of the year. And she has it on her website. But the only thing is, it's for $40. And I'm like, I'm not going to pay that price. I just can't do it. And I know other people can. But I'm like, no, if you can get it down to... <laughs> you can get it down to $25. So I'm going to put the saying right here. Now, I know people like to do it on the top. Sometimes I put my sentiment on the top. Sometimes I put it on the bottom. Sometimes in the middle. Sometimes whatever. But I'm going to stick it right there just to be different. So now, there's the card right there. So now well, let's go ahead and add some gems. Okay, so I'm going to add, I have some gems right here already. Now I'm going to add some teardrop gems because it's the ocean and what does it do sometimes at the ocean? Sometimes it rains, but I don't know. I think these would look cute. I think they're clear and I like them. They're teardrops. So we're going to go, like say, maybe one up here, and then one over here by Happy Mother's Day. Oops. Oh. And then one down here. So that's three.
and then four, and then we'll add one more to make five. And then five. So, you guys, there is our card. And all I can just do is decorate the inside and I'll be done. So there's the card. There we go. I'm sorry that took so long. <laughs> so there's the card. One hour, 15 minutes and 45 seconds. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. I had to pause quite a bit too because they're barking dogs and everything else. So there it is. A beach thing card. You guys see that? So there it is. I love this Hero Arts Stampin' Die set. And I do believe they had this at Joanne Fabrics still too, if I remember right. So I will be doing more of Hero Arts stuff too because I just love their stuff. So I like that I can get it at Joanne Fabrics and not have to pay for shipping. So, but anyways, I'll be doing more stuff and throwing out more Hero Arts videos too. So thank you for subscribing to my video. I'm now up to 82 subscriptions. So thank you subbies and I love you all. And thank you for putting up for such a long video. And I don't always do long videos all the time. But I haven't done a video in a while except for I've been doing lives lately on Saturdays. So I've been kind of skipping, throwing up videos. But I need to do more videos in between Saturdays. So I do apologize for not doing other videos in between. But I kind of miss doing videos and I need to do more. So I do apologize for that. So I do love you all. But always remember to be crafty and create and just, you know... Just be crafty and do your thing and don't give up. Don't give up crafting and, you know, just continue to craft. And, yeah. So, always remember, if you suffer with something, find a hobby and craft your heart out. And hopefully that will help sidetrack your mind from whatever it is that you have. So... I mean, I do. I suffer with something, and that's what I do. I craft a lot, and it helps. It does. It, it, it really does help. So, but I thank you to those that do help me craft, and with the Zoom videos, that helps too. So, thank you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. So, and doing these card hops helps me too as well. So, thank you. But anyways... Um, anyways, continue to support one another through the light, the comments too, and stuff like that. That helps too. So thank you. I love you. Um, all of you moms out there, you have a great and awesome and blessed Mother's Day this weekend and be blessed. So for us, it's going to be brats on the grill and decadent melt in your mouth macaroni homemade macaroni and cheese that i'm going to make the homemade macaroni and cheese my husband's gonna do the brats on the grill and yeah and for dessert my husband's going to make his famous very delicious homemade cherry cheesecake pie mm -hmm. my favorite is the cherry cheesecake because i love cherries yum 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 so that's what I get for Mother's Day. So there you have it. And I will talk to you guys all later. See you Saturday. If Unless I do another video later. I might do another video because I need to craft with friends. And I would like to find some more friends here in Colorado because I need to get together with some friends and craft together. I have two tables in my craft room. I have room to add chairs. So if there's anybody else of you women friends that want to come over and hang out and craft with me, you're more than welcome to come over and craft with me. So I don't know. I need to get together or Zoom craft with one another. That would be great too. We can Zoom craft and I won't put it on YouTube. So if you want to do that, we can do that too. So if there's anybody that's living in Colorado that 
lives close by in Westminster that would love to get together with me and craft, let me know because I'm missing the fellowship of my women friends. So um, in human form, that would be great. So let me know. Talk to you later. Bye.